Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create a store procedure with single value parameter and then use that store procedure in the report. Now let me take you to the SS MS SQL Server Manager Studio and show you my select query. So here we have our select query that's returning us 11 records. First of all we want to convert this select query into the store procedure. So we will do create procedure and then we say the name of the store procedure we want to name it sp underscore sale total and then say uh, at the rate that's our input parameter so we are going to say region and uh, we have to define the data type so in my case I'm going to say watch your hundred and then we say as and then we say begin and then uh, once uh, we have the begin and we can go ahead and use this uh, input parameter we are copy copying this uh, input parameter and here in where clause we can say region is equal to our input uh, parameter and then we say at the end end so this uh, store procedure is ready for us uh, in uh, actual scenarios uh, you might be uh, using different tables uh, you will be using inner join outer join left join and all that or maybe you will be using a uh, common table expressions and temporary tables uh, and uh, do a lot more in one store procedure and uh, at the end you will be returning some uh, records uh, those can be used uh, in the report uh, so but in our scenario it is very simple the uh, store procedure and I want to show you how to use it uh, now we can go ahead and run the execute we can hit the execute button it is uh, creating the store procedure that's done and let's go and run the store procedure now we can say use the word execute if you want and then we just need to provide the input parameter here we say Asia and we can go ahead and select this part and then hit execute so this will execute a store procedure and return us the results only for the Asia region as we have passed Asia as a parameter so now if I want to go ahead and use uh, for Europe I can go ahead and do it also you don't have to use uh, execute here if you remove this part and just select this part uh, and run execute from here by, or uh, press F5 this is still the same so anyways uh, whatever you want to do once your store procedure is ready you can run and test it is returning as a result for a Europe region now let's go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, and take a look our SSRS project is open. The very first thing we need a shared data source. If we don't have it or we don't want to use a shared one, we have to create the embedded in the report. I recommend using shared data source if you are creating a report, or multiple reports from the same database. So let's double click here and we see that this data source is pointing to the sales database. So we are good as our store procedure is in the sales database. We can use that. Now go to the reports, right click, add new item and here we will be creating empty report so let's uh, rename this one and we could call it single value uh, parameter and then we call this one uh, SP store procedure add the next part we will be right clicking on uh, data source uh, and here we will be using uh, the shared data source or uh, we will uh, uh, we, we we are able to create embedded one in our case we are going to use uh, the shared one so hit sales we are good and as you can see the data source one is a not nice a name so I'm gonna call this one DS sales that will be much better so we whenever somebody open a report they will see oh okay DS sales is pointing to this sales uh, shared data source uh, right click on the data set uh, go add data set and here we will be using embedded data set uh, for this report uh, and uh, now let's rename this one as well we can call this D set uh, and then you can provide the store procedure name maybe SP sale total or something whatever makes sense to you for this uh, data set uh, data set is a, a result set uh, or uh, the number records are returned by the query so here we'll be selecting our data source uh, and now we have two options here when we select our data source we can use the text uh, that we have already used a lot of select queries we have used uh, but in this uh, report we are going to use a store procedure so click on store procedure once you click on store procedure you will see a drop down here and all the store procedure whatever you have you will see them right here so when you select the store procedure that's it right now you don't see any parameter uh, even we have only one parameter or even you if you would have multiple parameters you do not see anything here so we are fine here you can go ahead and refresh fields 
once you hit that that's fine if you want to go to query designer and uh, you can say see that here store procedure name and if you try to execute uh, it will ask you to provide uh, the parameter value so you can go ahead and provide the parameter value to test it okay okay if it is working fine asia so once you provide the asia it will return you all the records for asia so we, this is a good way if you want to just run the store procedure here and uh, take a look okay it is returning your results or not but in my case if a store procedure is coming in the drop down i'm fine i can go ahead and use it and always i run the store procedure in ssms uh, to take a look if it is working or not now hit ok and uh, if we go to the parameters here we will see that parameters are, is already shown uh, here so once you start using store procedure the parameter meters uh, will show up uh, right under the parameters tab and uh, this is our uh, data set for that is returned by the store procedure so we are good to go we can go to insert and table and now here we can use uh, those fields uh, we can use sales first name sale person second name we can use product name it's my recommendation I mean if you don't really need all of those columns uh, why not to just eliminate uh, from the um, your store procedure you don't need them and it is not a good idea bring in a lot of uh, data if you really don't need so let's uh, make our header column columns a little better so we are good now we can see that uh, the parameter is uh, shown uh, here and we can provide the value and get the results uh. so if I provide Asia and view report uh, it is going to show me all those Asian records uh, for different customers uh, in different countries uh. now when, when one thing we can go ahead and do it uh, we can uh, create a drop down list uh, of the values uh, for this uh, parameter so let's go to design and here in the data set go add new data set and we can call it d set underscore region now this will be embedded as well we will be using the same uh, data source and i can say select distinct region from dbo let me take the name of the table so total sale and we can go ahead and provide here this is going to return us the distinct uh, regions uh, from uh, this table so we are okay and next part we need to do we go to regions uh, parameter and then uh, parameter properties and here in available values we will be providing uh, get values from the query so once we use that uh, then we'll be able to use the region data set uh, that is returning us uh, the region so in my case if you see the value and the label is same if you have uh, you can have different uh, label maybe a region column is actual value and then uh, there is another column say region description uh, that is uh, provide more uh, information about the region and you want to show that in the drop down of a parameter this is a value that will pass to the query and this is uh, the thing uh, uh, label part is the, that you sh you will see in the drop down of a parameter so um, sometime we, we have those situations where we have different labels let's let's say we have short uh, region value such as EU uh, European region NA North America region and in the label uh, we have complete names such as North America region or uh, Asia region or uh, European region so we can use two columns uh, one for value one for label so we are good uh, here hit ok now we preview the report uh, and we can go ahead and select the value here we have Asia if I will select Asia I can see that uh, all the records came for Asia let's go and test for Europe at least a couple of them and we can see the results are coming for Europe and finally we are seeing the results for North America so this is how you will be creating a, a store procedure with single input parameter and then using that in a report you don't have to just have one parameter maybe you can have two parameter let's change this one real quick and let me show you at the rate country and we can call this one work 100 I just want to show you different ways to do it I know if you you are feeling comfortable you can leave now and uh, but if you are interested uh, to learn how to change the store procedure and use it you can go ahead and stick around and and we can say at the rate country now here is the country is equal to at the rate country in this case now our store procedure is using a uh, two input parameters so we have region and country and we are using in the select query so I have used alter statement here so if I execute so let me see what happened it's in DBO Oh, okay here this uh, we don't need that let's run 
the query again so the store procedure is altered now now we have to provide two values here uh, let's say if I want to do I, I need to do France and uh, this is how I will be getting only the records for that region and uh, for that uh, country so uh, for European region I will be getting uh, the records for France as I have uh, provided the input parameter so each one is single value uh, as you can see that I cannot provide multiple values for each of that these are single values but I have two parameters uh, here so let's go back uh, and take a look what happened with our report as we have changed the store procedure so if we will go ahead and save it uh, go to design yep we are in the design we are good and now if we go ahead uh, and uh, go to preview again uh, and let's see what happened now. select uh, region we have changed see our it is saying okay sp total should expect a parameter at country which is not supplied so we don't see that parameter here I don't really see that uh, you see the region uh, but you don't see the uh, country here so let's go to the data set here in this case uh, let's refresh the data set so if we go to the data set uh, double click on data set sorry here yeah. okay once you are in the data set you say refresh fields and now hit OK and then come back once you do that you will see the country parameter as well now if you go to the preview you will see Asia is coming here and country is coming here as well so for Asia let's say if I'm in Asia and I'm putting Pakistan I will see the values or the records only for Asia and country Pakistan so now again you can go ahead and create a the uh, cascade parameters here uh, once uh, somebody select the region uh, then uh, only show me those countries uh, and uh, if you, you are only you don't want to just uh, go ahead and say select uh, distinct distinct countries from that table because there are other countries uh, and if you are in Europe or Asia it will show you all those uh, countries uh, if you will use the same way what we have used here in the region you want to create the cascade parameter and I have created a video how to create the cascade parameter and I recommend go ahead and watch it so you can have uh, um, uh, uh, what you call the uh, multi uh, parameters uh, here we are using two parameters uh, so and each one is a single value so that's that's the way to go ahead and create the store procedure and use it in the reporting services uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next uh, video